Morning, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on July the 4th, 2024. And this is a Thursday. And I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. And uh, I'm having a cup of coffee and chewing on some pecans or pecans, however people like to pronounce things. And that brings me to something that I wanted to discuss today. Um, again, there is a uh, st strategic uh, uh, intention to my madness. How about that? And in, in, in the amount of videos I put out, there's a strategic uh, intention to those to that matter. Um, we are, and I and I want to stress this: we are in a historic moment in our lives, unlike anything that's ever happened since the inception of this universe. Okay, how significant is that? Well, it's extremely significant because. It's a matter of, um, you know, continuing to evolve properly or continuing to descend into devolving and thus, you know, it's, it's, we are in a, we are in a, in a uh, moment in time, which is, um, it's, foreign to those who have not considered certain matters about what your responsibilities are as a human being. Most of us have been indoctrinated to focus on the outside, right? Focus on gain, uh, greed, such as materialism, you know, competition, you know, beating the other person down, um, you know, doing everything in our power to be on top because we 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 believe that's that's a sign of strength. You know, to uh, to be on top always and to be standing there in some fake fantasy of glory about yourself. And a lot of that is is, is shutting down quickly if anybody's paying attention. A lot of these narcissistic narcissistic sociopath, psychopath. Uh, clerics, cult leaders, whatever you want to call them, are crashing down all around us, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. It is no if you if you're thinking clearly and effectively, there is no. Um, you cannot deny that something is seriously, seriously going on, especially whether it's in your home or outside your home, whether inside, whether in your state, in your country, in your environment, something is seriously, seriously going, going on. And it's not pleasant, regardless of what anyone says. It's not pleasant. We're not dealing with these extreme temperatures, these extreme weather events for no reason. But yet, everyone, every now and then, uh, well, it's constant. You have people coming through who say that they are experts. Who, can, I mean, I, I can care less about it. If I, it, you know, you can call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. But if you don't have the results to back it up, then it's, you know, it, it's, it's no different than me when I'm rambling <laughs> and carrying on just like everybody else does. I just want to say to those of you that are innately inclined to understand, you know something's going on, but you also know that you got to keep it going. You got work to do, you know, you have mouths to feed, and, you know, you need to make sure your basic needs are met. So in other words, you have to keep it moving. You have to keep it moving regardless of what chatter is going on outside of you. Cause there's a lot of it. There's billions of people on this planet, and everybody has an opinion and theory, which is that's their right. Actually, it is birthright to have your theories and opinion, as long as you're thinking it through and you're not just regurgitating what you've heard 
other people saying, and that's what's a lot going on. A lot of people are choking on their own vomit, okay? And I just want to make that literal, and that's figuratively and metaphorically. Because, first of all, there all of that, all of that, all of that pretending and, you know, it, it, you know, like I said, they're just re regurgitating on themselves, throwing up on themselves, vomiting on themselves, however you want to say it. In other words, uh, you know, they're being exposed. So, the innately inclined ones, and you, you know, the innately, in, in, um, the ones that have um, this knowing, they know stuff. They don't know why they know it, but they know. And they're not um, necessarily um, dismissing it. But then at the same time, they know that no one has to know um, what they're doing to preserve their innermost being, to be a genuine human being in the true sense. You know, innately, they are naturally able to pick up that something is going on. They don't need tarot cards, okay? They don't need to be fumbling around with trying to read palms, okay? They don't need to be fumbling around with in invading certain levels of energy. They just know. And those are usually silent. They usually are silent revolution. You know, they are part of a silent revolution. They get things done. Okay, and so there's a difference with being silent with a purpose and then being silent because you're a coward. There's a difference and know it. Okay, uh, the, the ones that know things and know, that's just, a, that's just something that's naturally developed within themselves. They don't have to show off about it. They get the results. They make things happen. And, those, and that's who I resonate with as well. Okay. We know that um, a lot of people pay attention to the wrong things about stuff that they don't understand, okay? So many people are desperate for attention, so they'll create stuff, you know? They'll create um, drama, you know, theatrics, and, and usually, you know, all you have to do is look in, in, you know, in, in places that are known for that known for creating drama, known for living in their fantasies. And what bothers me about all of that is they take away the genuine attention that should go to people that are in a crisis, in danger. No, we have to be concerned about these uh, fantasy delusionist type of people that just grab a, want to grab attention no matter what. And so... But the, the, the ones that naturally know what's going on know how to, you know, you, they know how to s separate fact from fiction and make it happen and get it done. And um, I send nothing but love to those uh, that resonate with me, understand me. You may not understand everything, but you understand that there is a, there's a bigger picture going on, uh, you know, not just Hollywood. Okay, not just the fantasy of Hollywood. Okay, let's just say it. Fantasy and illusion and delusion of most of the people that participate in this kind of um, uh, intentional grab for attention. You know, they, ca they cannot keep themselves out of the spotlight. And use other means to foster their you know if it's creativity they call it okay I'm being very honest when I say this um, an entertainer is an entertainer okay now how someone entertains that's you know that plays a role what they're entertaining us with that plays a role but but yet as an individual you know we we have been we replace gathering of knowledge with entertainment. We want to be entertained. We don't want no excuses from the entertainers if they can't entertain us. I mean, if, if you look at this on a big picture, it's crazy that we put so much pressure on the entertainers, 
okay but we we don't say uh, we don't put no pressure at all on people that are supposedly leading us you know um, for example we have this situation where it's obvious we have two incompetent nominees for the president of this country it's 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 but There is no, I don't, I don't pick up the, I don't pick up the intensity towards them as I, as I have picked up the intensity towards a celebrity or entertainer. I mean, there is a complete difference. Pay attention of what we'll do to an entertainer if they fail to show up to a show, okay, or fail to perform at a show. We it, it, just look at the difference, and that and that if you know if anybody is not paying attention to the difference of how that's happening, for, you know how we treat our, you know our our political leaders, you know whatever they're calling themselves, versus what we do and say to entertainers, especially uh, those in sports. How there will be a conversation going on for decades upon decades about the same things in sports. Who's the best? Who's the best at shooting uh, free throws? Who's the best at catching a football? Who's the best? You know, those conversations can go on and on and on. I'm not saying that we need to be going on and on and on about a political either. I just say we need to we need to refocus our attention away from some of these some of these entertainment based realities because politics is uh, entertaining too okay even though it's, it's, it's vastly important but you know it's entertaining to me so I just want to say to the ones that you you know what you're doing you know that things have to get done regardless of the circus going on around us we still have to evolve our consciousness we still have accountabilities and responsibilities and I enjoy what I'm doing. I told you I would do this even if I didn't get paid, but I know that that's not rational. I need to provide for myself. You know, people that go around um, in the past that who have just given all, given all, and not been, been able to provide for themselves usually end up on the streets, usually end up homeless, usually end up reclusive, you know, along with all the rest of certain personalities that are going to be, you know, they're going to, um, because of their extreme, extreme, you know, they're so extreme about this or that or the other, um, fanatical about this or that or the other, they're going to separate themselves. You know, there's going to be a lot of separation going on. And I put that out. And, you know, the great escape. A lot of people are going to be moving all over the place, all over the country, you know, invading cities and towns and countries in neighborhoods and cultures, okay, because a lot, a lot of them are homeless in their thinking, homeless in their thoughts. Okay, they are, you know, they they have no grounding of foundation at all, and that's literal, figuratively, and metaphorically. So this, so in other words, for those of you that understand this, and I know, I know, I know, you know, a lot of you do. Um, you just have to be creative and know how to navigate through it all and understand that, yes, it's crazy. And if you feel crazy, you ought to be feeling crazy. But don't take it personally. It's that This is the effect of the planet. I told you we're in a historic event that has never happened. And we're approaching a certain cosmic event you know, with the dawning of the age of Aquarius, which a lot of people probably say, oh, whatever. And that's fine. You know, it could be, like I said, things are going to uh, resonate appropriately. So if, it, if everything seems uneventful to you, well, what are your realities going to be? Uneventful. And that's vice versa. So enjoy the moments. Uh, make sure you enjoy the moments. Don't be stuck on one moment, okay? Don't ruminate about one moment. And that's what a lot of people are doing as well. They're, they're staying stuck in a certain um, reality that, first of all, no longer exists. 
You know, each day that passes us doesn't exist anymore. And a lot of us like to stay, you know, in the in, in the back of our experience, you know, always reminiscing, which is fine. But now is what's important, creating moments, not just a moment. Okay. And and always understand that, you know, that you Whatever your, whatever your realities are, you created that. So we, as a collective, created this mass, this madness that, that's happening on this planet, whether it's, re whether it's relating to our climate destruction, our leadership destruction, our interpersonal relationships that are in turmoil. We, we all created that. So individually, you're just going to have to connect back. Connect back to genuine reality. And that means you're going to be connecting to this person in hopes that that person spreads. You know, it's just going to have to be st <clears throat> stitched differently. Okay, it's going to be a different stitch, different fabric, a different garment of our realities that's going to look different. And again, the energy of your thoughts are going to place you where you need to be, not necessarily where you want to be. But if you develop yourself properly, your energy of your thoughts are going to put you where you want to be. Simple as that. And so I know that I'm going to be resonating and um, uh, circ you know, have my sphere of the proper people in my, you know, in my, my world. You know, it'll be our world. It's you, I, and us. And we're going to be able to provide for each other, take care of each other. And then there's going to be another sphere of, of, of people doing the same thing, you know, or crushing their heads and, and killing themselves. You know, it's just going to be a circular of a whole lot of events going on and, 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 and swirling around. And so you as an individual, you have to take hold of your life. Take hold of everything that's going on in your life, life and control it. And the main thing is control your thoughts. Okay, interrupt your thoughts and don't allow your thoughts to ruminate on something that happened yesterday and you feel like, man, you, you know, you're kind of, uh, you know, uh, excessively being concerned about what some, something that's happened, you know, a year ago, five years ago, ten, you know, it's over. It's done. Think about now. Think about where you are now and give yourself some grace, you know. Be gentle and kind with yourself. And that's what I'm going to help to do is help people to, you know, to to accept what we as a collective have done and how I or us can unravel it and create another fabric of life, you know, another uh, canvas of life to where we can, you know, at least get our needs met but at the same time, we understand that there's a whole lot of other things going on outside of our control. Okay? So, stay on course. Keep building your foundation. Um, it, other pe the right people will come. I know that. The right people will come into your sphere. And that'll be, you know, a, a sphere of like-mindedness. People that understand what their responsibilities and their accountabilities are. They're not blaming anybody. They're not intentionally going out attempting to hurt people and lie to people and deceive people. Those are the type of people I interact with. And if there's a breach, okay, then the, those individuals are replaced. Okay, and they've, in other words, they are taken out and replaced with others. That's what's going to have to happen. I don't wish these people, that the, you know, it was a breach. Yeah, it was a breach. I already told you about that. It involved a, it involved a central individual, but then it was others along with it, hanging on the strip on the strings of, of uh, you know, cult like behavior, uh, fanatical and and just very dangerous rhetoric. You just replace them and, and, and wish them well and move on, and it's gonna you know that's what's gonna happen, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna see people moving. Coming and going, coming and going, going, and some people are 
going to believe that they are set up perfectly where they are and then something's going to happen and cause them to have to move, you know, have to change jobs. Some people lose jobs. Some people gain jobs. So just, just be ready for all that kind of fluctuation. But keep yourself solid and grounded and loving. Be loving towards yourself. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. We've, we've, um, we've, we've, uh, sever that type of uh, connectedness to ourselves that, that that's why a lot of us are unrecognizable okay some of you are unrecognizable okay okay there should not be this this extremism as we have when it relates to whether we're a man or a woman masculine or feminine you know there's there's a lot of this this uh, they, they say it's a body body hatred and, and it's true there's this hatred of of uh you know it's like a, it's a self-hatred it's, it's exactly what it is you know but it's a self-hatred of your own reality that you created okay so you just you just need someone to help you snap out of it snap out of it so i will stop right there um i just want to send peace and love to everyone all of the stars and moon and mountains it's about universal love but the love has to start from within. You know, self-love does create universal love towards others. So, you know, test it out for yourself. Okay? But no one has to know. Peace and love. And trust me, I'll be back.